What's up everybody, welcome back to another episode of Final Boss Garage. Uh, today we are going over my 87 Camaro LT. If you're new to the channel, it is a LS1 TH400 car. Um, today's episode's all about the Turbo 400 transmission, the swap, what parts are involved, how much it costs. Uh, I get a lot of questions about it. We're gonna go over some street driving. Uh, we're gonna check what RPMs are like on the freeway. Um, it is a three-speed transmission, so there's no overdrive, and that's where everybody's concerns come from. So today we're gonna address some of those, um, and then we'll just show you. Uh, it's just like driving any other regular car. Today, doing more Camaro stuff. Nothing on the Silverado. Today we're gonna be talking turbo 400s. get a lot of questions about what's it like driving on the turbo 400 what was involved in the swap how much did it cost highway driving rpms what's it like not having overdrive stuff like that so today we're gonna go over all of that as you can tell I just threw it in a drive and I'm driving just like a typical automatic. I don't have a manual valve body. Um, I have a standard turbo 400. Uh, it's basically stock, but I have a uh, performance torque converter, 4,500 uh, converter in there. And I went that big just cause I wanted to pair it up with uh, the cam size and um, the one I got is also rated for boost and nitrous. So we're just going to go for a drive, kind of show you the normal driving habits. It, it's not bad. Just driving around, it's just like any other car. We're in first gear right now, second gear, third gear, and that's it. It's nothing crazy. I can shift if I want to with my shifter, but it's not necessary. When I do drag racing, I do start in first and I shift my way all the way up to third. Um, I need to get a shift kit in here. That way I can control when it shifts, because right now it shifts right about 5,800 RPMs. And for drag racing, that's way too early. Our top end set up to rev out to about 7,000 RPMs. Pretty normal driving, nothing crazy. There's a lot of misinformation out there and people assume that just because of the size of your converter is how high you have to rev just to move the car. A lot of people thought, oh man, you have to rev to 4,500 RPMs just to get it moving. That's not the case. My car starts moving at 1,200 RPMs. Honestly, if I let off the brake, the car starts going. guys biggest question everybody asks me what's needed for your turbo 400 swap uh, it's pretty simple it's just a transmission there's only a few components of it you're gonna need your need your turbo 400 I found mine um, brand new from a transmission shop paid a thousand bucks you're gonna need a torque converter uh, if you have a LS1 you're either gonna need a $30 eBay spacer to space the torque converter out to where uh, it mates up to the flywheel um, or you can have a custom torque converter made Mine's made by Performance Torque Converters. Um, 
It's a 4500 stall uh, built for nitrous and boost. Uh, I think I paid about $800 for it, um, but it is designed for the LS motor. Second thing you're going to need is your transmission cross member. If you can weld, you can modify your stock one. Uh, you can buy tabs on eBay for like 30 bucks. Um, or you could just build something yourself. Uh, all a transmission cross member does is support the transmission up, so there's not a lot to it. Um, torque arm. You're going to have to figure out how you're going to mount your torque arm. The factory torque arm mounts to the tail housing of your transmission. Uh, my transmission cross member is made by UMI Performance. Um, it holds the transmission up and it's got a mount for the torque arm. Um, it was a combo. I think I paid like $550 for it. I really don't remember. It's been a few years. Um, drive shaft. You are going to need a drive shaft. Um, I'm not positive, but I heard that 82 and 83 had the 200Rs uh, transmissions, and those drive shafts are supposed to work. Um, I went a custom route. Uh, I went to a local shop here in Las Vegas called Dan's Driveline. Uh, I have a 3 inch all aluminum, uh, 1350 yokes. Um, pretty beefy uh, drive shaft. Uh, it's good for more horsepower than I'm going to make. Um, I think I paid about $500 for it. Uh, not quite sure, but uh, just call around. Uh, all shops are not the same, so just call and see what you need. And if you're not looking for crazy performance, you know, you don't have to upgrade the yokes and stuff like that. Uh, Shifter. Um, I have a B&M Pro Stick. Uh, I think it was about like $280. Um, before you buy your shifter, you need to know what you have going on with your transmission. Um, if you're going to go with a reverse uh, reverse manual valve body, uh, if you're going with a, a you know regular pattern, um, you want to get a shifter that's going to work well with your needs and what you plan on doing with it. Um, I don't have, they make ratchet shifters for it. I don't have one. Um, mine is designed uh, to where when you throw it all the way back in first and you go forward um, you have to squeeze the handle that way you're not skipping gears while drag racing. Alright we're going 65 miles an hour right now exactly. that's gonna be it for this episode uh, I hope I answered some of your guys' questions um, honestly it's a straightforward swap if you've ever pulled the transmission I mean it's really not hard there's not a lot to it I didn't go over um, the speedometer um, I have a fourth gen uh, f-body gauge cluster and it's all digital input uh, the factory third gen uses a mechanical speedo um, so you'll be a lot better off than I will. I don't have a speedo because I'm going to have to run uh, an adapter of some sort or uh, put a mechanical speedo in my, um, you know, in, in my wheels or on my axle setup. Um, but as of right now, I don't really care about having a speedometer, so uh, not one of my issues. Um, if you guys have any other questions, though, feel free to ask. You know, I'm here for you guys. Um, yeah, so I really appreciate you guys watching. Do me a favor, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.